almost my entire school is in the US. And here I am, still in Norway. The rest of us students who are left got told to make something, so... Well, of course I'm gonna make another doll video. After thinking really hard and asking Instagram, I ended up making an angel. I had already removed factory paint way before I even started on in this school. So I started with removing the hair. I find it a lot easier to remove if I use a flat screwdriver first. So I just scraped the inside with that before using the pliers to pull out a gross glue mess out. And with a clean hat I can start making a wig! I didn't have any stretchy cotton, so I used the tutorial that Kayla's dolls had posted and saved on their story highlights. It was a little harder, but at the same time easier than to make it out of stretchy cotton, and the end result ended up a little bumpy, but I'll definitely try this again. Instead of using yarn or doll hair, I decided to use feathers. And I'm pretty sure Instagram is listening. Because after buying the feathers for this, an account that makes beautiful BJD feather wigs appeared. And it's called Inhale the Resin. And I was just hoping that mine would turn out at least half as decent as theirs. I did end up doing most of it off camera, both because my camera would all, will only record 20 minutes at a time, and um, I kept going out of frame. And I did use both white feathers and pheasant feathers to add a bit more color and variety. And I'm pretty happy with the result! To make the halo, I didn't really want to use wire that's over her head, so instead I used this tape and it helped hold the hair down. But the glue on the tape sucked, so I had to use hot glue and it, it wasn't easy. But the end result was worth it. I bought angel wings at my craft store, both because it was cheaper and it would save me a lot of time and frustration, but I did glue some golden feathers and some pheasant feathers to the matching hair and to hide the cardboard. And then we can finally start on the face up. As always, I started with the blush and I did have some problems with the sealant again. It was a sunny day, but it was still kind of humming out, thanks to bad weather both before and after I started face up. Pencils stuck really well, but the pencils ended up scraping off the sealant if I pressed too hard. And I really didn't have to press that hard, really. Her eyebrows went really well on this time. And I did make her look cuter and more innocent by drawing her eyes and eyebrows more droopy.
Other coats of sealant didn't really fix the problems, but I was able to use pencils with a really, really light hand. For the color of the eyes, I wanted to use green, both because they would stand out and because of the original dolls' colors. But I did want to make them more ghostly looking than I normally make them. I ended up painting the whole eye white, along with darkening and adding some lo other lines with a brush. And to save some layers, I used gouache paints to make the whites opaque. And I I tried to add some teeth. It it ended up being a mess. To make those eyes look ghostly, I drew the edges on with a blue pencil and I used a green pastel chalk to fill them in. And even the iris got color blue. I didn't want to use any black on the doll, so the darkest color I used was just a brown pencil. And I kept messing up the teeth. Just every time I tried to do something on them, I messed them up.
but I used the gouache paint again to add highlights once I was finally happy with the mouth. And I highlighted parts of her face using uh, iridescent shimmers in pink and green. And of course I have to add glitter, but I did keep it simple by just adding a tiny star in each eye this time. But after all of that glue mess, she was finally done! And this doll was honestly a breeze to work with. I did have to wait out the bad weather to start on face. But I still didn't have that much problems with the deadline I had. And other than the sealant and my airbrush clung up a few times, everything went so smoothly. I don't know what to call her yet, all I know is that I don't want to name her Angelica or Angela, so suggestions are welcome. And you're always welcome to subscribe and see more of my videos in the future.